The pilot of an airplane needs to be alert at all times to monitor traffic around the airplane. Even when not in contact with air traffic control, it is still the responsibility of the pilot to see and avoid traffic. As airplane performance increases, the rate of closure between aircraft will increase, making the need to see, detect, and possibly take evasive action to avoid the traffic even more important. The more time spent looking outside will increase the probability of spotting a potential collision threat. There are several ways a pilot can increase the effectiveness of their visual scanning while flying. The most effective visual scanning for traffic is accomplished by using short, regularly spaced eye movements that bring different areas of the sky into the center of vision. With each segment scanned, eye movement should be no more than 10 degrees, and the eyes must stop in each segment for at least one second to allow the eye to be able to detect traffic. Peripheral vision can also be helpful in collision avoidance to spot other aircraft. As the eyes move from one area of the sky to the next, the eyes must refocus, and even while the eyes are focusing, the peripheral vision is able to detect movement. Movement is usually the first way a threat is discovered and can lead to the pilot taking action if necessary to avoid a collision. When scanning in a sky that has no features, the eyes will focus about 10 feet away. In order to keep scanning effectively, the pilot should shift their gaze to refocus their eyes. Pilots usually accomplish refocusing their eyes when scanning the instrument panel and back to the outside. It takes the eye several seconds to refocus when switching from looking at the instrument panel to outside for traffic or landmarks. If another aircraft appears to have no relative motion, it is likely on a collision course. And if the aircraft is increasing in size, then it is getting closer and evasive action might need to be taken. Scanning for traffic must be included when dividing attention between other tasks required to fly the airplane, and scanning could become less effective due to fatigue, boredom, illness, anxiety, or preoccupation with another task. Other tools like radios, ADSB, or passengers on board can also help identify potential traffic hazards. When in two-way radio contact with air traffic control, or ATC, the controller may give pilots traffic advisories when workload permits. It is still your responsibility to look out for traffic, and just because air traffic control does not tell a pilot about traffic does not mean there isn't any nearby. Also, radio calls from other aircraft at uncontrolled airports or in the practice area can give you valuable information on the location of other traffic. Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADSB, is a system installed on all Embry-Riddle aircraft to help pilots locate traffic. ADSB allows aircraft to broadcast their position to air traffic control and to other ADSB-equipped aircraft. This will allow other traffic to show up on a moving map display in the cockpit. Not all aircraft are required to have ADSB equipment installed, so while ADSB will help improve your situation awareness, it is not a substitute for visual scanning. Passengers and other pilots on board the airplane can be used to help spot other aircraft in the sky. Traffic will be pointed out using the clock system. Off the airplane's nose would be 12 o'clock, the right wing is 3 o'clock, behind the tail is 6 o'clock, and the left wing is 9 o'clock. If traffic is spotted off the left wing, there is traffic 9 o'clock. Also, terms like high or low can give more direction to help others see traffic. Collision avoidance is a crucial aspect of every flight. Without an effective visual scan, pilots put their safety at risk. Remember to use all your resources to reduce the potential of a mid-air collision occurring.